The world's longest Emirates tunnel aims to connect Scandinavia with the rest of Europe. The Fehman Belt fixed link will cut down the current rail trip between Hamburg and Copenhagen from four and a half hours to two and a half hours. The EU granted over 1.1 billion euros towards its construction. The mega project is set to cost over 7 billion euros in total. It's part of the Scandinavian Mediterranean corridor, which runs all the way from the Finnish-Russian border to Valletta in Malta. The EU hopes these new links will contribute strongly to European cohesion and strengthen the internal market. The 18-kilometer tunnel will connect Hurby in Denmark to Puttgarden on the German island of Fehmarn. The project is due to be completed by 2029, and its supporters say it will offer faster and greener transport and create jobs. However, it's been repeatedly delayed amid objections from local ferry companies and environmental campaigners. Conservationists believe this area in the Baltic Sea is particularly important to preserve. If you have a 20 kilometer long tunnel project, it has an immense uh, impact on the environment. You have reefs, you have sand dunes, what you actually destroy. The island of Fehmarn is for marine mammals, for harbor porpoise, it's marine mammals, uh, and it's especially the underwater sand dunes which are protected. In the middle, of the Fehmarn Belt, there where this project takes place. To build this immersed tunnel, approximately 50 million cubic meters of sand and soil will need to be excavated from the seabed. Environmentalists say simpler alternatives should be considered. They suggest strengthening the existing 160 km rail link between Hamburg and Copenhagen, known as the Jatran route. But supporters of the new tunnel say it creates a clear shortcut that will save energy and slash CO2 emissions from traffic. Femen AS, the Danish company building it, says the impacts of the construction are only temporary. Its CEO said in an email, We take our environmental responsibilities very seriously. Denmark has very high standards in environmental protection and a proven track record for building mega projects in an environmentally friendly way. The company also says the more direct route will make rail a more attractive alternative. However, critics note that the tunnel will feature four lanes for cars and trucks. They say the project, which Germany and Denmark agreed on back in 2008, should be reconsidered with sustainability in mind. It's not fulfilling the idea of the European Union anymore to really get especially cargo traffic from road to rail. Well, this might be a project which has been planned like 20 years ago, but it was before the Paris Agreement. It was before the time when we thought about climate change that much as we do today. And I think we have to um, assess projects which have not been built yet, but which have been in the pipeline for, for 15 or 20 years.